Hello, hello, my people. Oh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Hey, Nancy, good afternoon. <laughs> How are you? Is it morning in your place or afternoon? It's nice to see you. I hope you can hear me though. I think everything is all right today and everyone should be able to hear me. But if you can't hear me, just tell me. 2.30 p.m. Ooh, we are at 7.30 p.m. here. I'm stuffing my face. <laughs> what, are you put, what are you eating? Thank you, Nancy. What are you eating? I forgot to make my tea. Would you give me one minute? Let me bring my tea. <laughs> Ooh, I'm really tired. Bring me a cup, my tea. Please, when you're done. Any of the cups. Hey, <laughs> I'm back. I put the hot water on and I forget to make the tea. I forgot to make the tea. So now I have my tea, grain free, tortilla chip, and guacamole. What is that now? I'm a bush lady. Tell me what that is. <laughs> Go on. Oh, that's avocado. Okay, okay. It's nice to know that now. Oh, I've had some rest of a week. But then today, I woke up tired somehow. <laughs> I thought I had enough rest. It's mashed avocado with chills and stuff in it. Mm. That's really healthy now. I love avocados. I really love avocados. Okay, let's see who else joins us. Thank you very much for my cup. I should be, I should be using something fancier than this now because I make mugs, don't I? <laughs> Go on, Martin. Thank you. My helper is here with me. <laughs> So I have green tea and I'm having green tea and what's there now? And ginger. Yeah, green tea and ginger. That's what I'm having today. Hey, hey, hey. Who's there with us? <laughs> uh, in today's um, live, I just don't want us not to do nothing. I have, I bought a new in the hoop passport cover on Etsy and I decided I'm going to change my passport cover for my passport so and it's a long time we did our Wednesday embroidering live so I decided we can do that today it's an in the hoop one and it's it's a fairly easy one I think it's not that easy because it has the back side we have to like cover it as well hey Tonya it's nice to see you it's my first time seeing the name but you're welcome to the family. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for, for staying, tu staying tuned to this channel. We have loads to offer and we will grow together. I believe we want to grow together. We're all growing together. I'm very new as well. So tell me whatever you can. I'll tell you 
what I know. If not, I will make research. So welcome, Tonya. And Nancy, Nancy is a very good friend of the channel. <laughs> so I should be welcoming you as well. She was the first here today. So today we're making in the hoop. Tonya, do you do embroidery? Because we're making an embroidery project today. Let me go away from the machine. This is the machine I have. It's a Genomi 500E. Do you do embroidery yourself? And what machine do you have? Because I'm starting off with this. I do a lot of sublimation. I do towel embroidery. I'm specialized in towel embroidery. That's what I do to sell. Every other thing I just do. But towel embroidery is what I do as embroidery. Then I do birthday t-shirts, custom birthday t-shirts. That's the other thing I would do. So thank you. And what do you do as well? So now I will, I will hook my stabilizer and we can start off with our, with our in the hoop passport hold passport cover is a passport cover i have a clear plastic here it's a passport cover as well i do embroidery too i have a brother p800 but i also make kids clothes oh that's really nice i do not make kids clothes at all because i find it hard to to hoop i don't like hooping and it doesn't really sell a lot here i find the sublimated t-shirts and the HTV t-shirt sells. This is a really small country and I have to go with my market. Selling to the US is good, but it's so expensive to post to the US. So guys, I have to first be local before I sew kids clothes, that's good. Tanya, very new to embroidery, welcome. I have a Genomi 400E. This is really good for you because there's no much difference between the 400 and the 500. This, I think it's the hoop size. That is the difference between them two. So do you sew at all, Tonya? I do a lot of sewing as well. It's just I'm very lazy. I do not like to sew for long. The max I would like to sew for would be one hour. So if I have a big order of sewing, I would not be able to do it. That is why I have not put sewing into my business. But once in a while, I do. Like I'm trying to introduce... Um, the bonnet into my shop so i will still have to sew but the bonnets only take 15 minutes to sew so you see sewing for long no and for my birthday gift i got a serger as well that might make my sewing easier so when it comes i'm gonna unbox it on this channel as well and maybe that will make sewing a bit easier for me and i can sew some easy stuff but for now, no sewing in the business. But there's sewing on this channel because I want to show people a lot of things. Oh, no, there's sewing in the business because I do, I do pillow cases. Um, what are they called? Cushion covers. I sew my own cushion covers. I do not buy cushion covers. So I sew my own cushion covers. But most times I will do the envelope one, which is really easy to sew. Yes, I sew too. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Those are really easy to sew, the envelope cushion covers. So I do that as well. And that is the more reason why I'm getting the serger. So I'll just search the envelope, envelope pillowcase. And that's it. So I'll still continue to show everything on, life, on this channel. And the more things I add to my business, the more I've got to show you guys. I will always show you what I do. With the online business, I haven't done too much with it and i know that myself i have not done a lot with my online business my website is more like that <laughs> there's nothing on there my etsy shop it's there not updated i've only started that's one of my birthday resolution that i'm going to work on my online business yes i'm going to work on my online business so it's a good time for you to come be free tonya ask me any question Join my group if you haven't the um, the Facebook group because on the Facebook group then you can even message me. You can't do that on 
on YouTube, but you can send me private message on the Facebook group and I'll be able to answer you. Or if you need me while you're stuck or something, or if you just want to show us what you're doing today, like I do always, I show one of one or most of the things I do during the day, I just put it on the on the group so people can see. Yes, so we go to our embroidering. I'm using this five by seven hoop because it's a passport. The passport I don't think would fit into a four by four hoop. Passport is I'll measure it. I don't think this will fit into a four by four hoop. I'm not sure now, but I'm using a five by no 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 because the length of it is seven point almost seven point five. So no, it won't. So I'm using my five by seven hoop for this project. So what I'll do is um, hook my stabilizer and then I'll float the material. When I got the, the file, the embroidery file, the steps there, I won't be following it all the way like that because sometimes, you know, people that do all this um, digitizing, they just, their sewing skills are not so good. Forget it. <laughs> they make it look so confusing to show you how to sew what they've digitized. So I found a, an easier way to do it and I'm gonna be doing it the easier way. When I skip any step, I will tell you what the digitizer wants me to do, where I got the file and what I'm doing. Because I've actually gone, went, I went through the file to check. I wouldn't like to be live and then I get all confused and tired because once I get confused, you do not get the best of me. You better know that now. <laughs> I do not like getting confused or or tired or too tired because then you wouldn't get the better of me. Who is that? Jeez. One minute, please. Sorry now. Sorry for the interruption. So when I get to any step which I have skipped anything, I will tell you this is what I'm this is what the digitizer wants me to do, and this is what I'm doing. So I'm making it easier for me. I want to make the project easier for everyone. So I'm using my own sewing expertise to show you what I think you can do. And if you sew, you should be innovative with your sewing. That is what makes you stand out. Please be innovative. I remember the first um, video I posted on this channel was about hooded towel. The hooded towel didn't even have the hair and I improvised myself and I put the hair into it. And that is still my best seller in hooded towels because it's not meant to have hair. And I did, I thought, why not? Little girls would like to play with the hair. So I put the hair in and it remains my best seller up to today. So be innovative with your business. You can't do what everyone is doing. You need to stand out somehow. Although what everyone is doing might not be bad, but you need to stand out even if it's a bit, just a bit. Yeah. So we go on five by seven hoop. I'm going to be hooping the stabilizer and then floating the materials. And this is my machine comes on that way i hope you can see the okay yes you can first i would hey robin welcome it's nice to have you hey i'll get my stabilizer and we want to hoop the stabilizer to start our in the hoop passport cover so this is my stabilizer I get this from Amazon as a roll, this roll. This is how I get it. And then I will cut into size because I have, I've been using two hoops, you know, and I haven't even thought about buying more hoops. But because I do towers and mostly towers, that's been enough for me. If I want to do huge names, I use the eight by 11, is it eight? Yeah, eight by 11 hoop. And if I'm doing small project like this, I do the five by seven. So I haven't had any need to buy another, um, another what's it called, hoop. 
So let's cut our, if you want to get any of the things I use, I will always link them in my videos. It might not be in this one, because this is a live, but later I'll go there and put it back there. So any of the things I use here, most of them would come from Amazon. We don't really have shops that sell a lot of things here. And I have an affiliate with Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me. The commission helps this channel and I can give you more. I can make more projects with the commission. It doesn't cost you anything. So if you want to buy anything from Amazon, go through my link. Just click on any one of them. Buy whatever you want to buy and I still get a commission. It doesn't take anything from you. So now I would hook my stabilizer. I just cut the size I need on the stabilizer. That's what I do. I just cut my size and then I hoop it. So I've had this for a really long time. I think it's 500 yards. Oh, so it's really huge. So I do a lot of my project with it and it's medium weight um, tear away. It's not a very light one. It's a medium weight tear away stabilizer. So if you want this, go through my link. I don't know with the US, is it still the same? Amazon, Amazon is funny. I don't really understand Amazon yet. I only started this channel about, not up to four months, about three months ago. And so um, there's a lot of things about YouTube that I don't know that about, about um, Amazon that I don't know yet, but I know I can put all these things on my channel and get some commission that would help me grow the channel. And that is what I'm doing. So I have the affiliate link you are doing me a very good help by buying through my affiliate link because that will give me some change and I can buy things to make projects on this channel. Now, <laughs> after all that conversing, let's get back. <laughs> so now I'm pooping my stabilizer and I'll be floating my material. If you know me from the beginning of this channel, you know about this material. I said a friend of mine gave it to me. We thought it's pure leather, but then Hey, Richie, how are you today? Welcome, Richie. So I thought this was leather, but now I know it's not. It's uh, it's full leather. It has a white back in there, so I know it's not pure leather. It's full leather. So I'm going to be using this for the passport cover. And what else am I going to be doing? And there's an applique part of it. I'm going to be using this... Um, Fleece for the applique part of it. It's just a design. I wish I could show you the design before we start. But anyways, you see it then. So now I float my my tear away, medium weight tear away stabilizer. Medium weight tear away stabilizer. That's what I use for all my projects. Apart from medium weight tear away stabilizer, the next thing I have is a cutaway stabilizer. And that's a really... It's um, not medium weight, it's heavy weight, heavy weight um, cut away. That's the next one I would use if you don't see me use this. Because every other one is in between. So I would mostly use this, especially for the towels, I use this medium weight tear away stabilizer. So the secret to a good hooping is drum tight. Once it's drum tight, you're good to go. So... I'm going to put this on my machine and then we look for my design and put it into the machine and you can have the placement stitch. I would have changed this thread to black so you can see the placement stitch. But let's see if you can't see then I'll change it to black. Because I would like you to see what I'm doing. But right now I am bringing my design into design, into my embroidery mesh. I have this, what's it called, the USB cable? What do you call it? Anyway, that, I have transferred my design into that and it's going into the machine. If you don't know how to transfer your design into your, into your, what's the storage God, Oh my God, um, my brain is dry this evening. If you don't know how to, I've made a video on how to transfer your design onto your machine. It's on my channel. You can watch that as well. 
and see how to download designs and thank you usb flash drive thank you richie <laughs> so how to transfer your design into your flash drive because our machine reads the flash drive you can also use a cable as well but the flash drive is the easiest one i've found the usb cable is really easy to use so i have inserted my usb cable and the design is there already so all i'm going to do is look for my design and bring it into i'll have a sip of tea tea oh see no okay so my design is a passport. What is my design? It should say passport, you know, because I saved it as passport. Ah. This is what happens sometimes. You need to get ready before the light stream. So how is everyone anyway? Sorry, I didn't ask about that. That's very selfish of me. How have you been? How has your week been? How has business been? <laughs> if you do business. What's everyone up to? What are you up to? Wow, I think I have to transfer it again because I've been making you, yeah, you said that on the group. I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see your, oh, that's password. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I'm sure it's going to really look nice at the end of the day. <laughs> Robin, headed to fabric store shortly. Okay, still no orders here. Is that on Etsy now? Nancy, is that still on Etsy? I think Zoe was saying something about helping people on Etsy. You know Zoe from Bloom, Bloomy What? Business is good. Yeah, good. Having a great week so for crafting now while watching you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Tonya is having a good week. That's good to hear. And it's, um, it's Nancy on Etsy or where? Is it on your website or on Etsy? Yes, on Etsy. Etsy has been, I heard in the summer, Etsy is usually very slow. And before you get, even before you get your first sale, sometimes it takes some time. And I heard Etsy is really slow in the summer. So what do you think? I think I'll be bringing um, one of the, I think I'll be bringing Zoa onto this channel so we can talk about business on Etsy. My offline business is really doing well because I take bulk orders. I do custom bulk orders. But I haven't had time then to develop the online one because I've been busy offline. So it's it's a trade-off. <laughs> but then I still want to do well online because it's not every time the offline one is like I'm busy, busy, busy. It's a bulk thing. Once you do your bulk work, it's gone. You have to wait for the next one. So while I'm waiting for the next one, I would like my online business to do well as well. Oh, I'm behind by 18 seconds. I'd like to know how that happened. How come? How come that's happening? I don't know. <laughs> um, so we're going to, this is going to give us placement stitch now. I'm starting with the placement stitch. So we can know where to place our, 
we can know where to place our, our material for the passport cover. So that's just the placement stitch is doing now. Behind by 80 seconds. Eh, what's happening? Am I? Is it from my side now? Hey, Zoa, I was only talking about you now. I was only talking about you. Because <laughs> I know, I know, excuse me, please. I know you were going to help us with um, XC and stuff. And Nancy was just telling me about the etsy shop mine isn't doing too well as well because i haven't done i must be sincere i haven't done anything with that shop i haven't i've gone in and out this week quite some time now i think i'm trying to revive it this week but then i haven't done much so i was saying maybe one of these days we could you could be my co-host and we could do something about etsy and how to list how to get noticed on Etsy and stuff like that. If you wouldn't mind, we could do something like that because I myself would not be, would be very grateful to have that knowledge. I've been very busy with the others from offline that I haven't given much time to my online business. And I want to do that as well. I have an Etsy shop and I have a website, but both of them, I have is zero attention I give to them zero attention and that's not that's not the best you can't just leave things to work out themselves we have to work it out we have to do our own bit for it to work out so zoe if you're interested in that zoa sorry zoa if you're interested in that please let's talk and we can help the people on my channel as well as the ones on your channel as well that need help with their online business but today we're doing an in the hoop um passport cover in the hoop passport cover yes a collaboration robin a collaboration would be nice i just did the placement stitch now and does anyone remember this material when i said someone gave me this material and i didn't know what to do with it i've done too many things and it's still not going to finish it's lasting forever <laughs> Forever is like this. It's gonna last forever. <laughs> yes. So now I'm gonna place my. It's given us the placement stitch. I'll let you see that now. So the first step in any in the hoop will be the placement stitch. Oh, it's in white, so you might not be able to see it properly. Anyway, when I the first one is. It says four letter, yeah. Yes, so Lou, we can do a collaboration about S. Yeah, I think a lot of people would, would be happy to watch that. I would be happy to have it myself. Because <laughs> I am um, in Ireland, we don't really do Etsy. I must tell you, our shops will be Amazon and, and the other one, eBay. Those are the shops we usually go to. Those are our go-to shops, not Etsy. But then, I'm dead, but then I'm on Etsy and I'm selling on Etsy. At least I have sold like 15 or 14 or 15 on Etsy. So I would like to do more. I would like to know more about it. Why not? We'll do a collaboration. So now for a passport order, I've done the, it says stitch out the placement stitch. And I'm going to be putting the material I want to use for the, I'm using the same material for both the outside and the inside. The inside will have a pocket as in the back of it. It will have a pocket where you can insert your passport. I am using this as an example. This is a clear, it's a clear passport cover, which I have before. So I'll be using, these are the pockets. It would have pocket like this. So the passport can go inside. It would have them pockets as well. So my passport is gonna have a new look after finishing this project tonight. So the placement stitch is there. I'll only put my, my material, which is the four leather. 
on it. And I, I have this. All of them are in pieces anyway. I'm driving, so I'm just popping in to say hi. Oh, thank you, Zoa. Thank you for popping in. You have a good day, Ulu. Thank you. And you too. <laughs> thank you. So now we're placing the 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 first the material on the placement stitch. So that's it. Make sure you're covering the whole of your placement stitch. If not, we're not going to have a good um, passport cover. So I've covered the whole of my placement stitch. Guys, I hear people change change needles when they are doing different kind of materials. I do not. I have to be sincere with you. I do not. I use the same, it's just when the, when the tip is dull, I change the same. I think that's a 17. I don't even know the name. It came with the machine and there was loads of it and I'm still using it. I have not bought any needle. I know people change needles when they are doing different kind of materials. I do not do that. And I have been embroidering now for almost one year and I have not had any problem. And all my projects have come out really good. I would not fumble with the machine if it has no problem. I just let the machine do its work. All I do to the machine is just clean. I've been doing that for almost a year now. All I do is to clean it. I do not go changing stuff into in the machine. I do not. So now I have placed my, my material and we're going to stitch the first after the placement stitch now. So it's going round after the placement stitch. We are making a passport cover. Passport cover. It's summer now and we're still going to be going on holidays. Anyone has plans for holidays? <laughs> Anyone have plans for holidays? I'm going to be going away soon. Hello, Felisa. It's nice to have you. We're making in the whole passport cover. So we just lay our first material after the placement stitch to fill you in on what we're doing. But before then, we've been talking about how to make our online businesses better, especially our Etsy stores. I am guilty because I have not done too much on my ex store as well. And it doesn't happen by magic. We have to all work on, on it. So I'll show you after the placement stitch, it has done the first stitch. And this is the first stitch. That's the first stitch. After the placement, I put my material. I did not measure, I just put but you can measure if you have the placement stitch, you know where your material is going already. You can measure, you can even be creative. Put, you can put, you can sew two materials together and have different colors on them. Like I just, like I said, when we started this, we have to be creative. We just have to be creative with what we do. We need to stand out in the marketplace. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of competition, but use your own imagination. That's what I've always done. I'll just do things people don't do. I do things my own way. This passport holder, it's the instructions is very confusing, but I'm making it my own way and we'll see if it works out. <laughs> so now we have that. If you want, you can cut the excess off now, but I'm not just gonna bother with that. We're going to the, it has an applique part, applique part. So we're gonna do the applique part. Then we put the back of it and I think it's only five or six steps and we're almost done. Now, so my, it's back in the machine and we go to the next step. We're just going to go to the next step now. So that's what we're doing. We're going to the next step of the, this um, passport cover, I got it off Etsy. I would be linking the where I got it later because this is a live and I would I have not prepared everything into this live. But if you check my other 
videos, you'll see a lot of links there, but this will not be there because I've not done this before. It's the first time I'm making a passport holder. And, oh, something else. I forgot to say thank you to everyone for wishing me a happy birthday. Thank you very much. And my surgery is coming next week. <laughs> it is coming next week. Aren't I, aren't I blessed? Not lucky. I'm blessed to have everyone around me. <laughs> I'm blessed to have you guys as well. So we go to the next step now. The next step is, um, did you say green? I don't know what that means. Ah, I've missed something now. Okay, now I know what the next step is. In my machine, you can, there's this flower sign there, and you can choose what you want. You can see what is going to stitch out next, or you can see the stage is stitching out. So I've gone detail to the, yes, we're all blessed. I've gone detail to the actual thing is going to, is going to stitch out next. So we're starting with the zip. There's a zip on it. No, I'm not putting a zip. It's just an applique of a zip. So it's giving me the placement stitch. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, felt for the applique on it. It's a really nice um, passport cover design. So I'm going to put this felt. It's going to stitch on all of it. So it doesn't matter if I put, um, what's the backing called again? Guys, you must understand me by now that I forget the names of things. Uh, eat and bond. There will be no need for eat and bond. If you like, you can put eat and bond if you like. But because it's going to stitch on all of it, so I'm not going to add eat and bond to this. It's just to give it stability to stitch on something, I think. If not, I could leave the applique without even putting an applique material. But I'm going to put an applique material, and which is this felt. I'm going to put the felt on it. I love my work to be neat, so I snip along. I just snip every little things I don't want there. So, there we go. Ah, I think we missed a step. You see, I should have put the applique on that before it went round it. So I'll do that now. I'll go back. You can always go back on your embroidery where you embroider. So I'm going to go back one step. So I've gone back one step and I'm going to have the applique material, which is a felt without it and bond because I don't need it and bond. It's going to embroider on all of this now. So... There I go. And okay. So now cut the applique. And we go to the next step. This is what I have. So I'm going to cut around this and then we go to the next step. I hope you can see it. Sometimes my light gets too much, especially when it's getting dark. Yeah. You can see it there now. So I'm just going to cut around that now. Then we go to the next step. I wish you can see what I'm doing, but don't worry. I stopped making, um, I stopped doing two, two cameras because the two cameras I've, I discover most times when I do two cameras, I would have technical problems. So I decided to stay with one camera until I, uh, I reach a thousand subscribers and I can go straight live in, from my phone. I don't know what the difference will be now anyway. But then, that's it. I have got that. This is a passport holder, passport cover. It's a passport cover. So all I'm doing is following the steps, but I'm going to skip some steps, and I, I will tell you when I get to those steps. Because where I got this um, in the hoop passport holder, the instructions was not clear at all. I must tell you that. Some digitizers do a very bad work at, at explaining 
what they've digitized. I believe this is one of them. I believe this is one of them. Have you tried your new it press? I was looking on Amazon and I couldn't find one. Same as yours. Oh, it's there. Oh, I did um I did something on it yesterday. It's really hot. I need to know. I think I'm just lucky to have very hot it presses. <laughs> My other small one is a really hot one as well. I need to read more on the manual. I've been doing embroidery the whole of today, but maybe tomorrow I'll go back on it. It's there. Check on my link. I have a link to it in my in my last video. Just check on my link, and you would you can use my affiliate link to get it if you want. Let's go. It's on the link. When I did the video, I put it in the link as well. Just check the description, and you'll see it there. Now. I'm supposed to change to a black thread now, but because I'm using a very dark um, material, I'm staying with my, this is light gray. I'm staying with it. Light gray, light gray, light gray, light gray. Yeah, for now, I stay with the light gray. So anyone, anything, any new thing this week? I've refused to <laughs> to move on from my birthday, <laughs> my birthday hour. Like I still think it's my birthday, <laughs> and I'm slowly, slowly getting back to work. I'm slowly getting back to work. <laughs> Yesterday I did um, a lot of work. Yes, I said I was going to show you. I don't think I will make a video on this now because it's still very. It looks like it's easy enough for anyone to understand. I did a lot of t-shirt for a wedding with um, transfer paper. And I remember Robin asking me about what to use. Nothing new, just happy to be alive. Oh yes, thank God. We thank God. Ah, we thank God to be alive. I use transfer paper to do those projects and they really turned out so well. So if you have a picture or you want to do a quick t-shirt, transfer papers are just the way to go. Hold on there. Like I said, I like to snip as I go. So I get the hang of what I'm doing. I do not like to leave it until when it's all done. So that's doing its own now. So if you want to do a quick, if you want to do a quick um, t-shirt and you want it to have color pictures, the transfer papers are really easy. All you need to do is print it out and boom, that's it. It has a white one with a transparent background. So if you're not using white, you're using a lighter color like I did pink. I do not have any of it because it's gone already. If it wasn't gone, I would have shown you. It was a project for a client. It's, it's for my, one of my clients. And it's gone. I did, um, the first one I did was 20 of them. Came out really well. Came out really well. So it's on my, if you check my Facebook group, you'll see a picture of them there. So for them paper, I think the only problem I'll have with them is how long would it last? I'm not sure how long it will last. But now, this is for a wedding. Nobody is going to be using that forever. They're just going to use it for that day, and that's it. So if you have, like, birthday, quick birthday T-shirt, that could go. It, it could work. Instead of sublimation, everything does not have to be sublimation. That could work as well. And who is this? Um, Richie says, I love your picture of you outside the house. They look like huge house. Nah, it's not that huge. It's a nice house, but it's not that huge. Thank you very much. Thank you. And did I miss anything? Nancy, what's up? What happened? Why congratulations, Nancy? What did I miss? I have missed something. I'm sure I missed something. That's great. Congratulations, Nancy. I love your birthday too, too. I really... <laughs> oh, thank you, Sonia. <laughs> did I not look like a baby in that? <laughs> 
What do you think? Don't I look like a baby in that? Oh, yeah? <laughs> but I just wanted something that would... I just wanted to be myself on that day. I'm really a baby. I came just popping in, but I need to go very soon. Love the press. Thank you. The press is still there. I'm still gassing over the press. <laughs> So like I was saying, I love you. Okay, thank you. What's happening with Nancy? Why don't I know? I need to congratulate you as well. <laughs> Nancy, what's the story? Kim, my shirt came yesterday, okay. That's for Kim. Kim, we're making a passport holder. Now we go to the blue. So I have to change the thread now. We're going to, there's, there are flowers on it. This passport holder is well detailed. I think it, it, will, suit a, it will suit a female passport. We can change the colors to, to suit the men as well. I have on my thread here. Let's see. So now we have the light blue. I would have to move. My trailer doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not bothered. I know it's because of the, the way I place my Needle, but come, I'm not really bothered like It takes only a few seconds to thread it. So why not? <laughs> then we're going to the next step now. It's just details now. Just details. It's nice to have everyone. Thank you, Felicia and Robin. Nancy, what's happening? Oh, I've missed so much. <laughs> I want a so Woo! Really? You won a sewing machine giveaway and it arrived yesterday. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, Nancy. Where did you win that? I want to win one as well. <laughs> Nancy Black, wow, sewing machine for free. That's really lucky. Yeah, that's really lucky. Now, Tonya says, no, you look great. Um, I will be 51 this. I'm thinking about doing something like that. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> I just felt good in them. I felt good in my tutu. I've always wanted to sew one, but it doesn't sell here, so I made one for myself. <laughs> it's an excuse to make a tutu for myself. So I took it. <laughs> So anyone just joining us, we're making a in the hoop passport cover. That's what we're making. I'll just leave the same. I like to snip as I walk. So I'm going to sneak. <laughs> if you're new on my China channel, I have claustrophobia and do not like to see clusters. So I'll prefer to just... Kim, you need a blue wrench. Yes, Kim was supposed to have one. I don't know what happened. Hey, why haven't I got blue? Yeah. 
I don't know what happened. I'll see it again. She was one of my moderators. No. What happened with this now? I can't do it from here, definitely. Kim. I don't know what's happening now. I'll check again, because the last time you you told me, I said I didn't know what happened. So I'll go back into my channel now and see why you're not one of my moderators again. What did YouTube do to you? <laughs> oh, it removed. Now, do you have the wrench now? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm joking. It's okay. Sweet. No, 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 it's not okay. You should have it. You sh you know what I do here and you can answer if I'm not able to. It's it's a really I feel I feel good when I see people helping me to answer some questions because I might not be able to do all the answering while I'm on the project. So if you're coming in new, what we're doing is in the hoop passport holder. In the hoop passport holder, that's what we're stitching out this evening. And if you're new, we're glad to have you. Please press on the subscribe button. We love you. We do a lot of family things here. <laughs> Business. Showing off. <laughs> when it's our birthday. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm the joker here now. <laughs> so it's going to... There again. I'm not doing a lot of thread changes here now because this is my first time stitching this out and I would just like us to go with all the details. So I've chosen blue. Like, you know, I like blue. It's not my favorite color, but I like blue. I do like blue. My favorite color is a white. I love white a lot. But then blue is good for me as well. So he's doing the details on the in the hoop passport holder. That's what we're making. So after all the details, I'll show you how to place the back of it as well, so that it will have um, to have pockets. There should be pockets at the back where the passport will fit into it. And then after that, I put in my passports and get ready for the summer. What's the plan, everybody? Where are you going for the summer? <laughs> where are you going for the summer, everyone? I don't know yet, but I know I'm going to be traveling. I've always done that every summer. I do not joke with my holidays. I go my holidays. <laughs> so where is, is everyone going anywhere and where are you going? Green is the next color, and I'm getting it ready. New comments. No plans right now. Yeah, you Robin is going to Jamaica. <laughs> no, I'll probably be going to Nigeria because my last holiday was cut short, and I would like to finish it. <laughs> I had an emergency, and I had to come back home. So, probably. But for now... Because it's only one of my children that has gone on holiday, the next, the small one will be going on holiday in, um, by the end of June. So after that, we plan on what to do for the holidays. But for now, I have no plan as well, but I know we travel. I'm staying at home in Cornwall. Oh, holiday destination of the UK. Maybe I'll come visit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Kim? Come visit the UK. <laughs> so all this is doing is just teaching out the details on the passport cover. And I'll show you when it's done. It's a leave detail. That's all it's doing. 
Now I have to do a thread change. I got this design of Etsy, but the instructions, I must say, are awful. I don't know. I tried to watch the video for the instructions and there was this music I could not stand. <laughs> I'm sorry. The music was very sad. <laughs> so I left the video. <laughs> so in case you want to get the... This same passport um, cover like I did, be warned. <laughs> you might be better coming to my video to see what to do, I tell you. Because I couldn't even watch the video, it was, the music was just too sad and there was no, the person wasn't talking, was only showing steps and the steps were, they looked complicated for a beginner, it was too complicated. The person didn't make it easy at all. I don't know, some digitizers are, they are good at their job. I wouldn't say the other way. I wouldn't say. I love the design, that was why I got it. I know I could get my way around it. And that was why I got it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm making it mine, doing it the way I think it will work. Did she freeze? Did I freeze? No, I didn't. Guys, did I lose you at any any point? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, Kim is asking me to come. Don't worry, I'll come. <laughs> Very soon. I want to stay close to home and maybe go to Newport Aquarium in Kentucky. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> but I have my family, like my brothers, my sisters. Okay, that was you. No problem. Tallow blue paint. Who is this? I can't find my tallow blue paint. What happened? Where did it go, King? I'm going to be doing a lot of local holidays as well because if I go to Nigeria, it will be just me and my baby. He's not a baby, he's seven years old. So there still have to be holidays for the family. So we'll be doing something local. Maybe going to Dublin <laughs> or maybe to the UK. The UK is not far from us at all. It's just a one hour flight. So maybe I'll be doing that as well, as well as going, to, I really want to go home. I want to go to Nigeria, so. Guys, I'm having a seat. <laughs> I hear the paint run away from the painters. <laughs> yeah. Is that applying to you as well? I'm doing another thread change. There's a lot of details in front of this. You see, it is really beautiful anyway. <laughs> hmm. You're not supposed to be snipping as you go, but I can't stand seeing all the thread there. I do a lot of snipping while I walk because I can't stand the thread just everywhere. I do not like it. It gives me the shiver, so I'll prefer to I prefer to snip as I go. Although sometimes it makes my work slower, but then it makes me enjoy what I'm doing. I do not want to walk and feel like I'm, I'm, I do not like what I'm doing or get tired of it quickly. That I do not want, and that's why I do this. So if you see me snipping and snipping, maybe you'll be thinking, why won't she wait until she finished the whole embroidery? I can't. But I do not want to, because it doesn't sit well with me to see the thread everywhere. Okay. It's 
So trade change done. And there is, I think there is two more trade changes before we go to the back of it. After the back of it, all we have to do is just finish it up. <laughs> so this, these are the stages where we have to wait. After this stage now, we're almost done. Ah, take my eyes off there. <laughs> I need to learn to leave the thread, the tails. I need to learn to leave the thread, the, the, the tails. I just don't like seeing the tails. And I keep snitching and snipping and snipping them off. Anyways, so Zoa was here earlier and we're gonna be talking about how to improve our Etsy businesses. So I'm gonna talk with her, we're gonna have a collaboration what do you think? Do you think the collaboration should be a live one or we should just premiere a video? I would like to talk about Etsy myself because my Etsy hasn't been doing well, although it's my fault. I haven't done much with it. I don't expect it to automatically sell itself, but that's what I've been doing. I leave it there and don't go back to it. So what do you think we should do? Should we make it a live stream? I will make it a video and premiere it so that both of us will be there and we can answer your questions. Which do you think would be better? Which do you think would be better? I hope we're giving this video a thumbs up. Please do. That helps us on this channel. It helps more people see it. Please do. Let me show you where we've gotten with our in the hoop i do not like to see snips and you see that now we're almost there yeah after this last thread change now it's just gonna be we're gonna be applying the back and it will do the satin stitch around it and we'll be done what do you think? Do you think this is looking nice already? That's the passport cover. You could decide to put a name on yours. We got to be creative with what we have. You could decide to put a name, put something else, a sign, anything you can put on it. But at this stage, I'm just making the passport cover. I'm not gonna put a name, I'm not having a name or anything. Another thread change now. I've missed some comments. Lovely, maybe we could do a joint live stream sometime. Oh yes, I've been wanting to talk to you about that as well, Kim. I, sorry, I popped off, what did I miss? Oh, you didn't miss much now. I was, okay, I think I like, so I think the collaboration will be good as a live. And I would like to do a collaboration with Kim as well. Kim, I love those, your fluffy, fluffy bunny tutorials. We might do a fluffy bunny on a hooded towel. Do we do a live as well? Or we do a video and we premiere it. I think I enjoy the life because you can see what's happening. You can see the mistakes. With a, with a premiere, you must have edited the video. I like my people to see it just the way it is. Things, are not, things don't always work out. But in our videos, we show the end result and we show what we did. Oh, we made a mistake, but we fixed it. In the live stream, you might not have a chance to fix it immediately, but you can fix it later. So what do you think? Kim, with Zoa, we're going to be working on Etsy shops, how to make your Etsy shops get noticed. We'll fix the date and I'll announce whatever date is going to be. We'll do a live. She'll be on live stream with me as well. And she'll be answering some questions on what you think we should do to make our Etsy shops better to get it, to get it noticed. How it's done a multi needle and single needle. You see, that's a good idea. So we'll be doing the fluffy bunny with a towel on a multi-needle 
and on a single needle. That's a very good one. That is a very good collaboration. <laughs> Are we excited? <laughs> I am excited. Just hearing that has made me excited already. And I can't wait for it to happen. Is anyone saying anything? Are you guys there? It's too quiet here. <laughs> so collaboration with Kim. Kim said, message me later or wherever. Oh yes, I will, I will. I've got a lot of things at hand right now, but why not? If it's a live stream that it makes it easier, there will be no editing to it. So life is easy for both of us. <laughs> We won't have to edit anything like editing is a lot of work for vid with videos so i like doing a lot of things so that i would avoid editing too much i just do as i make it as realistic as possible so i i, I avoid editing it's not one of my strongest strong point like i do not like editing if you do youtube you have to edit Okay, so I just did another stretching. Yes, excited. I also have a Etsy shop that needs help. Want to say, yeah, mine is even dead. Forget it. My Etsy shop isn't doing well at all. I do not know what I'm doing there, but I'm there. My website is the same. I've not given it a lot of F I've not given it a lot of uh, attention. So I'd like to know what to do and how to help the shop. So that's it with for for Zoa. So Zoa, I'll be live with Zoa. I'll get a time that I can be live with Zoa. Then with Kim, we're gonna be doing a hooded towel, fluffy bunny hooded towel, fluffy bunny hooded towel live. How it can be done on a single needle and how it can be done on a multi needle. I guess that will be an exciting time. I can't wait. Well, this is almost done now. I think to soon be going to the step where I have to put the back. With the back, I'm using the same material as the front. I'm just going to be cutting it a little bit um, shorter this time. And there will be two, one for each side of the passport. The pocket at the back, there should be two at the back, one for each side of the passport. From the instruction, yeah, I'm skipping something there. From the instructions I got for this, for the back, we have to first put a lining in there, then let it go around, then we put the back in. But no, I'm not gonna be putting a lining in mine. Hello, Haley. Such a long time, Haley. We miss you. Really, really miss you. So I wouldn't be putting a lining in my passport holder because I do not see the reason for it. The back of my passport would definitely be covering all that. So there will be no need for a backing. Hello, who do I have here? <laughs> Guys, Tammy is my sister. She's the one that did my nails. And she's here. Can we welcome Tammy? <laughs> welcome Tammy. It's nice to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> she's very patient with me <laughs> when it comes to my nails <laughs> welcome it's nice to have you <laughs> so like I was saying I'm not going to be quoting the back of my passport holder. I'm just going to be going straight into this. In the hoop snack bag or single muscle in the I'll see what you're saying there. Would you think about doing an in the hoop snack bag on single needle and multi needle machine tutorial? Okay. We could do a tutorial as well, but 
that would have to be a video. Both of us will do our part, then we merge it together, and then we can premiere it. But that will need a lot of editing as well, because we have to edit any video we're putting out. That's almost done now. My in the passport holder is the front bit, though, not the back. We're still going to have the back of it to the, when it's finished doing the front. All the, de all the details go in the front. The back is just, we're just going to have this for the pocket so the passport can go inside it. That's why we're having the back. So guys, any video ideas for me and Kim? We have two video ideas already. <laughs> two video ideas. And that would be really nice. Could be done as live too, possibly. Ah, maybe to be done on a Sunday because you know during the week I'm usually. It's because my son that goes to secondary school is on holiday now, that's why I'm able to come on today. And even at that, I'm tired already. The evenings are not. Ugh. After not running around for me, the evenings are just to rest. So we might be doing on one of our sublimation Sundays. We might be doing the second one. Or we come, or I come on, oh, you know what? One will be done on my channel and one will be done on your channel. What do you think? I think that would be nice. That would be really nice. It could be done as live too. Yep. details on this are really nice. The details on the passport holder, they're really, really, I'll show you again before we put the back anyway. I hope the noise from the machine is not too much. We can chat soon. Yep, we will, we will keep. <laughs> we will chat soon. I'm just looking at the messages now. The front bit is almost done, then we put the back and we'll be done with our passport holder. Then all we need to do is just trim round it and possibly burn it with um, like a candle so it doesn't come undone later. Yep, 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 Kim, we can chat soon. Yes, we do, yes, we do. everyone's still there do you have anything to ask me now we have plans to do Etsy with Zoa and some other embroidery projects like with skin does anyone has any have any other suggestions What do you think about the noise? Is it too noisy? Okay. Now. That's the front bit done. What do you think? What do you think about that? That's the front bit of my past. No noise at all. Okay, okay. That's the front bit of my passport holder, the passport cover. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you. No noise at all. Yeah? It's, that's the front all done now. So I'm going to start adding the back of it to it. So from the instructions I got, I'm supposed to cover the back 
with another material first before putting the yeah i'm supposed to cover it before we put the pockets before we before we put the pocket into it but i'm not going to put another material i'm just going to go straight and put my pocket there and let it stitch Haley says, sorry, I am watching and listening, but I need to keep my hands and machine while running. It's okay. It's okay. As long as you're there. <laughs> as long as you're there. That's good. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be cutting the material that is exactly the, not exactly, it can be a bit, but just to give it some pockets. The two pockets has to be the same. And I'll put one on that side and one on this side so that my passport can go inside it. This is the back of the passport holder now. That's the front. That's the front of it. This is the back. So all I need to do now is to put pockets on the side. I have to make them the same, the same, the same length and the same width because it's for both of the sides of the passport. Not too many tutorials on Genomi. I love your lives. Oh, the cover <laughs> looks nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, I noticed that this as, as well. When I was getting this machine, I was actually looking for, uh, I was looking for, what's this popular one you guys buy in America? A brother PE 800. <laughs> I, for the life of me, I couldn't find it in Ireland at all. It's nowhere in Ireland. Nowhere at all. I waited and waited. Then when I went to the dealer around, the dealer had the Genomi. He told, he actually told me that we don't really have to do a lot of brothers around here. And if I could get the Genomi, it's a good one as well. So I listened to him and I got it. I want to measure the, I want to measure the width of this so I don't cut, just cut my material and waste it. Now I get my tape and and that is five points. At least if I cut a six, then I'll be okay. I'll cut a six in the length. So I'm just doing, I'm not following the, I'm not following the instructions because it is too difficult. Especially if you're, if you're new at doing things like this, you really find it difficult with the instructions that came with this. So all I'm doing is, working my way around it because I do not want to get frustrated with those instructions. Those instructions were really nice at all. And I bought it already. So I just do my beats. In fact, I'm cutting six inch, six inches. And there will be, there will be space for me to cut out the excess. I think it will be better that way. Instead of making it just the exact size. I'll make it a tad bit bigger, just a tad bit. And it will be easier to snip off. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> so I'm making the height of it just two inches. The height of it will be two, two just, for the, just for the pocket, for the passport to go in. So I think two is okay. She says, Tonya says, I like Genomi better than the brother because I never used it, so I wouldn't say that. I never I never got the brother machine. This is my first embroidery machine. Maybe I'll get another one, and I would, maybe I'll try a brother one. But if I'm getting another embroidery machine, it has to be a multi-needle now, because that's the next step. I'm not going to get another single needle. All the thread changes. I'm tired of it. <laughs> So I'm going to be cutting just some from this. And I like to make it as straight as possible. Did I say six inches? Yep, I did. <laughs> six, yep. So I have two six inches straps. That I'm gonna be putting on it at the back. No, this is going for the to the back now. Because all we want to do is give it pockets where the passport will go into it. 
I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just only cutting the six inches, six, six widths and three inches in the height. That's what I'm cutting for the for the back of the passport. This is going to the back of the passport, passport cover. So now I have the two straps, six inches in width and four in, three and a half inches in in height. So I'll go to the back of it. This is the back of our passport. I'm going to be taping one on each side, one on this side, and one on this side. This other one goes on this side. You see? That's what we're going to be doing. That's what, that's why I say to put your machine name on your titles. Yes, Kim actually did tell me that. She said that she always put it, the machine name on the title to help me. And I think I did once. After that, did I do again? Ugh, only. <laughs> so I'm going to get a cello tape. I'm cello tape this at the back of it. And it's going to sew around it and that will be it. That's the passport holder. I'm going to show you every step anyway. I'm just doing this now. Make sure they are the same, the same length, the distance from each other are the same. We need to get the distance the same. If not, the passport will be crooked. One side will be taller than the other and we don't want that to happen. I'm gonna make it straight again. You want to be sure both sides are the same. I'm trimming it down. The sizes are not equal. That's why I'm trimming it down now. Now, now they're the same. I'll put them there and I tape them. Be careful how you put them now. Now, that's it. Take. Where am I selling tape? See, this is what happens. Kim paints, Kim's paint ran away. My cello tape ran away. <laughs> Ooh, where did I get the cello tape? You know what? I'll put my the heat resistant tape is around here, so I'll just use it. I'm supposed to use the cello tape, but I can't find it and I can't keep you waiting. So all we do is hold the back, hold it back, hold it down. This is the back of it now, and I'm holding it down. I'm holding it down with a cello tape. Then it will do the last certain stitch on them, and our passport will be done. We're holding them down so it doesn't it doesn't uh, move because if it goes on the machine and it does move we might not have a good result from that each resistant tape are expensive i shouldn't be using it this way <laughs> says yes it will draw more subscribers i think so and i pray i keep i remember every time i'm uploading them videos especially the embroidery videos to put that or any video at all. I should put the name of the machine. Thanks Kim for reminding me. Now I'm putting it back on the machine. This cello tape isn't the best. And it's going to go around it. When it goes around it, it will hold it down to hold the back down to the front of it. So we go. Our passport holder is almost done now. 
because I'm always remind and sports. <laughs> Thank you. So it's gone round it and it has held the front to the back now. And all we need to do is the finishing um, stitch, which is the one more. No, it's gonna go around the, it's gonna go one more time again. But I'll put the last um, thread change and I'll leave that to finish it off. So this is one more change. The last thread change. And then it goes around it one more time and do the last satin stitch. And then we're done. We can cut it, we can take it out of the hoop. But right now it's not coming out of the hoop because we need to finish it all in the hoop. And that's the joy of in the hoop project. Everything is done in the hoop. You don't have to bring it out to sew or do anything to it, no. You just do everything inside the hoop. Once you bring it out, the project is done. All you need to do is just snip, snip, snip. And that's the project done. And it's ready to be used or to be packaged if you're selling them. If, you're, if you've not liked this video, please like it so more people can see it. Press the like button, please. Now, Phew. did I miss anything while I was gone? What did I miss? <laughs> yeah, that's the last stage now is the starting stitch. And that's what it's doing. After that, we cut, we bring it out of the hoop, cut, we trim, and that's it. We're done. What's the time? Oh, it's almost nine. The two hours fly like. What do you think, guys? The two hours we spend on this live streams, it flies. I didn't know it's two hours already. We only have five more minutes before the two hours is gone. Miss you too, Kim. <laughs> okay. We're almost done here now. I need to get my cutting scissors. And if possible, get the long scissors for this project because the longer cuts you have, the, the smoother the cut is. But if you have to, if you do the short strokes, then it might not be as, as clean or as neat as it should be. So I would advise you do the, you get the, what size, what needle size are you using? That's it now, I have to check again. I, I only use one needle for all my projects. Like I've, all, I've just, I said that before you came in. I do not change the needle, neither do I mess with my machine. I leave you to do its thing. If it's finding it difficult, then maybe I will do something. But with all my projects, I've only used one needle that came with the machine. All I do is replace it when I think it's it hold. But I'll check it for you when we're done now. Oh, I have a spare one here. It's uh, 90? It's a 90. What? How do you say it? 90 by... Anyway, it's a 90 one. What's it called? 90 by 14. 90 by 110. Can you help me, Red Rose? How do you how do you say the combination of it? I 
I've just checked now one of the old ones because when they are old and I take them out, I use them as as, as pins. <laughs> I don't throw them away. I just use them as pins. So I have one around here, and it says it's a 90. 90 by 40. That's it. It's a 90 by 14. Yeah. That's what it says here. And that's the only one I use. I don't go lower or go higher. Except I see my machine is finding difficult with the material, which hasn't happened since I started sewing. I do a lot of towels, and this has been good. Even with this material, it's been good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, too, for asking. It's good when you ask. It's doing the final satin stitch, and we're done. So the next time we'll be meeting will be sublimation Sunday on Sunday at 7, which is the same time. I do not have a project at hand yet. I'm not sure what we're going to do. But I would like us to use that my heat, my new heat press, which looks, it's a monster. It's really huge and I love it. So maybe we'll be making sublimated pillows, pillowcases. We might be making sublimated pillowcases because this is really huge and and I want to try my pillowcases on them. I want to try pillowcases on them. Because I've always had to press my 15 by 15 pillowcases twice. But this should press it once now. I'm glad and I'm happy. So we might be doing sublimation. We might be doing something, something nicer than just pillowcases. Maybe we might be doing a reading pillow. Would anyone be interested in a reading pillow? We might be doing a reading pillow, sublimated reading pillow, though. Hey, Buki, how are ya? Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for popping in. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. Let's see. So what do you think we should do? A sublimated... Ah, it needed a rest. <laughs> or Sublimation Sunday, what do we do? If you're new on my channel, Sublimation Sunday is where we do a live stream and we sublimate something every Sunday. Sunday evenings is for sublimation. Then you can ask questions about settings, about sublimation, about sublimation printers, sublimation heat, heat press, and everything sublimation. It's just a time to meet and talk about sublimation. That's on Sundays. And we do projects as well. So sublimation Sunday has been regular. Wednesday is supposed to be for embroidery, but that has not been regular at all. So I've only, I only pop in once in a while when I have the time for the Wednesday one. This is almost finished. Everyone hit the thumb up. Thank you. Hit the thumb up. Hit the thumb up. <laughs> We only have seven thumbs up, oops. And I know at the stage we reached like 11. So please, thumb up, thumb up if you forgot to, forgot to do that. Do. Almost done now. Thank you, Robin. Wash hand, wash hand, wash <laughs> Okay, if it's what it's called, wash and wash and wash and. <laughs> so we're at the end of our. What we're doing here is embroider in the hook, passport holder. And we're almost done. Thank you, Timmy. In the hook, passport holder, and it's almost done. It's just going through the last stage of it. And all we have to do is to cut. And we'll be done. Yay. So the next time we'll be meeting will be on a Sunday. I think I might be having a video up before then. But if I don't... We'll meet on a Sunday, but I think I should. 
Because I have a lot of video recorded which I haven't edited. Are you on Pinterest on Instagram? I am on Instagram as the body mats. The body mats underscore designs. Yeah, I am. If you check my YouTube page, the home page, it has all the connect connection to my to everywhere. Everywhere I am, my social media. So now we've popped it out of the hoop. Yay, we're done. Let's see the back. Yeah, the back look like this. See, it has the pockets, which our passports can go in. Now we just cut round it. We need to cut round it. And that is when we need our scissors. There's three layers there that will be hard to cut at once. So I'm going to be cutting it one layer at a time. I'm going to start with the top bit. This one here. When I'm going off live, I don't know. I don't think I can do that while I'm live because my hand will be shaky. I'm going to burn the edges with candle. But I guess you understand what I'm trying to say. So the edges is neat as well. We clean it up with the candle, as in burn it. We burn the edges to make it neat. I hope you all can see what I'm doing. But if you can't, don't worry. I'll soon be done. And then with the corners, we want to be careful so we don't give it a rough corner. Can you all see what I'm doing, though? I'm only cutting anyway. There's no big deal. When I get to the edges, I like to make it once one long slide, like. It's coming together, isn't it? So when I get here, I go straight. I do not like to. to give it a break there, because it's going to be rough if I do. And that's it. That's our passport holder. <laughs> now I'll put my passport in to show you what it would actually look like and why I didn't put the back in. I'm going to try. We all know that after embroidery, we clean it up. We clean it up after the embroidery. So that's what I'm doing. I might not do all of it now because my two hours is up. I always like to be on live for just two hours. I don't want to be more than two hours. So that's the back of it. And this is the front of it. The back of it from the instruction I got, I was supposed to line inside here to put another lining inside here to cover all this embroidery. But I did not see a need for it. I think it made the, it made the video look like too difficult and might not be interesting for anyone to look at. But if you want, if you are advanced at embroidery, then you can do that. You can do that as well. But I'll show you now, I'll put my passport and I'll show you the reason why I didn't put it. Because I think there's no need. They don't know, they don't know. See, the passport has actually covered it. Yeah, there's no, there, there wouldn't be any need anyway. And my material is thick enough. So it doesn't need a lining. My material is thick enough. There we go. That's my passport inside it. See? And there is no need for that backing. Sorry. There's no need for the backing, and that was why I did not put it. What do you think about our passport holder? What do you think? And one other thing I might put as well, it's not necessary. You might put something to hold it together. 
something to hold it together, just maybe a string or something. If you want, yeah, you have to be innovative with whatever you're doing. Because it is designed this way doesn't mean we have to make it just this way. Put your own touch to it. Link your pattern. Yes, I will, I will. I'll put it at the end of this video when I'm off this video. Then I'll send it. It's from Etsy. I got this from Etsy for, I can't remember. I got it a long time ago. I just thought I didn't know what to do today and I wanted to come on live because I was a bit less busy. My son in secondary school has finished school. So my traveling is actually decreased. So I have more time now. So I'm like this, please, anytime you do embroidering and you're on my channel, you're one of my people, Let's put our own touch to everything we do. Let's put our own touch. It's what makes you enjoy the work you're doing because you know you have your own touch to that thing. So this is my touch of it. And I decided not to put the back in and it's working out well for me. This look, look really nice. Thank you everyone. At this stage, I have to go now. We're done with our In The Hoop projects. I would go later and burn the edges if you want, but I'm going to burn the edges so that the, there will be no, no fraying at all. I'll burn the edges this way, and then it will be really, really ready. But isn't this cute? You can change the colors here. You can change the colors to whatever you want. I just like it this way because I don't want to be changing thread and change. If I had a multi-needle, I would be very, very innovative there. But because I have a single needle and every time I have to go in and change the thread, that's why I'm stopping at this now. I only made how many thread changes? I think four or five, which is good. So thank you so very much. I'll see you the next time. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and invite your friends to subscribe. And I'll see you on Sunday. If not, I'll do a video, but I'll definitely be coming on Sunday by God's grace. I'll see you then. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day. Enjoy your day. Bye. Thank you.